day and welcome to part nine of my Kazadoom. Kazadoom. <sighs> Mind blank. Kazadoom divide and conquer campaign in the lands of Middle Earth. Friend and turn. So, the Balrog is no more. We've dealt with him. We are marching on Dunland in multiple locations. We've taken Goblin Town. The goblins are dead. We are not yet at war with Gundabad, which is something I sort of want to just preserve for the time being. And as far as I can tell, the Mirkwood Goblins, Dolgador, is still at large. Still at large. I don't think either of the Woodland Elf factions have really done anything to shut them down. Now I really want to get to Cloniac before Dunlan get to Tharbad, but I don't think I'm going to get there in time. So maybe I'm just better off to go straight to Tharbad, but... If they get to Tharbad, then they can put pressure on Austin Athiel again. So that would be an issue. Hornburg's still being sieged. I mean, Rohan is holding out the Hornburg very well. Dunlaric, 2,000 points. Yeah, well, we're going to go for that. Lebanon's under siege. Oh, yeah, Gondor, Gondor are truly um, being pushed back now. Okay. So, we've retrained everyone here. So, we're going to march out. You jump into here. Be trained. Why would I need to retrain him? That's fine, he can go. And then this Aye. army. Aye. That you, of course. Marches to here. March. Yeah, with this Aye. general. Aye, sire. Without him. Without him. No mercenaries to speak of. No, no mercenary cab to send with that army, which would have been nice. Say. Move out. You jump over to here as well. I want to retrain. G'day, Davy D Gamer. How are you today? Retrain those. Ah, yeah, we're playing uh, Divine Conquer, which is the mod for Medieval 2. Uh, we're playing as the Dwarves of Kazadoom in Middle Earth. How am I? Yeah, I'm good, dude. It's sad day for me. Sad day afternoon. Now we're marching to Koloniak. That way. Marching now. Where are you going? Why would you be going to... What? Okay, don't do that. Go this way. March. Aye. Forward. Yeah, so earlier today we, we destroyed the Balrog. Um, who came to try and claim Moria back from us. Uh, so that was good. Go to them. But yeah, we're now we're pushing against uh, the Dunlans. And the Orcs of Gundabad are in the north. We're not at war with them yet, but it's probably not that far away. Getting better armor is there. Okay, so this army's going. It's not a full stack, but it doesn't need to be because it's pretty high tier. I mean, we've got King's Axes, we've got Expert, Excard of Erebor in here, so they're going to be pretty well equipped to deal with anything that they come across. Oh man, look at all these. Gundabad is just rolling. I mean, Gundabad have taken Erebor. The Lonely Mountain has fallen to the Orcs. Yes, is a mod for me able to. Yeah, just, yeah. Sorry, maybe you maybe weren't listening yet. Um, yeah. So this is divide and conquer, or DAC, as it's known uh, fairly well. Um, it's a it is a mod for Medieval Two. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, gonna need to reinforce you. Yeah. So. It's it's a pretty pretty well known uh, mod in, in the sort of modding circles. I mean, it's the first mod that I've installed for Med Two, and I tell you what, I I don't see any reason why I need to install any others because it's so good. It's so good. The the, the modding team does such a good job on it. Pretty much just seamless. 
So they're going across to there. Uh, this army, yeah, so this is where we're going to be fighting this turn. So yeah, we'll just plow through a couple of these. And we may even get a draw out here. We are allied with Inithwaith. So if we could draw them into a into a uh, battle, that would actually be good. Although I don't know how we would do that. They're a little bit too far. If they're a little bit closer, we would be able to get that. So I think we'll attack there. Everyone else is moving. Everyone's building. Never tried this mod. Looks like a lot of fun. Oh yeah, let me um, David e. Gamer. If if you're genuinely interested, I can I can sort of give you a bit of a, a bit of a tour. It's it's the whole Middle Earth. Um, let me just let me just turn off Fog of War so you can see. So, um, so I I started as um the Dwarves of Kazadoom in this campaign, which actually you start over in Erebor, and you have to sort of do this quest through Mirkwood. Uh, across the Anduin, through across the, down the Misty Mountains, then you reclaim Kazadoom from the goblins. Um, that was this campaign. Now I've sort of been building up around this area. I've got rid of the goblins, um, everything. But um, you can play as any of the factions in here. So, like Gondor, which is I've got a I finished my campaign as I actually was doing Gondor on on sad days. I finished it. Um, if you play as Gondor, you have Start with Minas Tirith, the Osgiliath, Karendros, you sort of have the whole lands of Gondor here. And you have Mordor that, that knocks on your door pretty much from turn one. Uh, they just spam army after army after army. So the AI Gondor has pretty much fallen. Um, they've lost their core cool settlements and they're going to be slowly dying as they lose more and more. The Peninsula Dol Emroth um, is here as well. They're allied with Gondor. In the south, you've got Harad and Kand. I mean, Harad have almost... Canned actually sided with Gondor in this campaign, and they're, they've got one settlement left. Actually, two in the back, it looks like. The Arad and I'm here as well. The sort of the Dark Numenorians, uh, they've they attack them as well. Um, so you've got Rohan in the middle here that fight against Isengard. Isengard are pretty much carving them up this time. They've lost Edoras. They're still holding the Hornburg, but it looks like just. Um, yeah, Gondor is, is in the toaster. Isengard, Isengard just get really, really strong. They just get really, really strong and just, just take down anyone around them, really, if, if you don't shut them down early. Uh, you got Dunland here, Enithwaith, villages, towns of Enithwaith. Um, you've got Imladris or Rivendell, a goblin town. If you move north, you've got Angmar, Khandum, Mount Graham. Uh, you got Osul, this is uh, the outpost. Um, the rangers have so this is Dunedain here, Aragorn you have Aragorn here, you got Bree uh, Hobbiton uh, sort of the lost cities of Arnor Anuminas and, and Fornost it changes to if, if you upgrade it not Deadman's Dyke uh, then you've got Mithlond High Elves over on this far side on the coast you've got Dwarves up uh, in Ered Lewin uh, where else haven't we gone on the map, oh so along the top you've got Gundabad Books of Gundabad, you've got the Forest of Mirkwood with uh, the Woodland Realm in here as well, with the Orcs of Dol Guldur as well. You've got uh, the Anduin Vale, which run up and down the Anduin River here. Uh, so the Men of Bjorn, the Skin Changer. Um, you've got, oh, then you've got Rune. So the Men of Rune out in the east. Um, and then Dorwinian. Uh, which sort of faces off against Rune most of the time. And their Darwinian's actually pretty unique. They're like a half elf, half human faction. Um, so they have both human and elvish units that they can get access to. Uh, oh, Dale's here as well. I didn't mention Dale. Um, Dale, they have uh, Esgroth and Dale here, but it looks like they might be losing that because. Uh, although Erebor might be taking back Erebor, actually. Taking back the Lonely Mountain, it looks like they might actually get it back. Which is unusual if, you, if they lose it they normally lose it for good um yeah so that's that's sort of like the whole web each each faction has completely custom rosters completely um custom assets and their visuals um you know it's 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 a complete overhaul mod um and all of the factions have scripts like particular little sort of gameplay scripts some are more just for flavor some are more gameplay uh impactful but they all have scripts uh, that impact the game and how you play it. So it's, it's really interesting and really fun. Um, and it certainly is 
Like, you don't feel like it's a mod. Like, the stability on this version, 4.6, is so good. Um, yeah, stability on this version is so good. Oh, I didn't attack. Oh, after all that. Ah, uh, after all that, I gave you the tour. <laughs> I gave you the tour and then I forgot to, um, got to actually do things on my turn. Oh, well. Oh, well. I mean, it can't hurt me that much, right? It can't hurt me that much. Thanks for the tour. Yeah, no problem. If you have any questions, um... If you have any questions, feel free to ask, man. I'm this is like chill chill stream. Anytime I'm sort of playing single player games, I'm fairly chill, pretty happy to talk about things or, or discuss any questions you have. Um, particularly if you're sort of into medieval two um, and might be interested, I'm I'm happy to happy to help you out. So we've got the mithril um I haven't got the mithril mines yet, but we do have mithril armor upgrades, so that's why I'm sort of up retraining all my troops in Khazad Doom because we are the best armor armor smiths Aye, there. Sir. We'll send him back Onward. to Khazad Doom to retrain him as well. You and you I go over here. Oh. Alright, definitely get those. Our Legion units. Train them up. Tell you through being the big old history buff that I am, I usually played the base game able to Yeah yeah. I mean I played this is without a lie the first mod I've ever played on a Total War game. First mod I've ever played on a Total War game. I don't know what took me so damn long because I was a vanilla game player. I was I just played purely vanilla games. Like you're saying, um, and I just played the vanilla game and then I played this and I've gone, why did I take so damn long? Um, <laughs> it's just so good. I mean, if you're interested in Lord of the Rings, it helps. I mean, I wasn't that interested in Lord of the Rings, but... I've sort of grown a bit of an interest now. Uh, I think what I do want is an armory here in case Dolgador actually take this settlement. Need to have some troops and recruit a couple in an emergency if I need to. Okay. Back in that barracks. Mm, I think I want to get barracks here as well. I even saw a World War One like mod for a Napoleon Total War or maybe Empire. Yeah, uh, I've seen that. Um, and they haven't played. It. I think I saw someone on YouTube playing that a bit, doing a bit something with it. But yeah, I think we go in here and we're just gonna draw them out. Never knew trans warfare could be so fun. Yeah, I, I have a soft spot for Empire. I know Empire gets um, all of the all of the hate regularly, but. I sort of have a, a bit of a soft spot for it. Now, can I draw Your attention is an honor, my allies into this? Ally. I mean, they can do most of the work. This is a good idea. If I attack... If I attack... Make sure I get the right one here. If I attack that, my allies are going to get drawn in. <laughs> Actually using... Empire seems buggy, lol. Everyone says that, but I've played a fair few hours on Empire. And, uh, you know, I haven't had that many bugs. I mean, it depends on what you class a bug, right? Is a bug something that's just like, like a game breaker bug that it crashes the game? I mean, I can't stand that. If, if there's a game breaking bugs, then yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm out. But, um, there's nothing in these armies I need to be at all worried about. Maybe these Eisenmark Axemen, but yeah, apart from that, everything else here is pretty easy. Game's a little laggy. Yeah, the frame rate maybe as well. Yeah. You, you sort of wonder how much is the old PC and how much is the new one. But I think I'm going to let my allies just come in and lose all their troops, honestly. I don't care for Enith Wraith at all. They can fight and pretty much just do the battle for me. And then I'll just I'll just come and clean up. <laughs> I'll just come and clean house when they're all dead. I mean, it's not really what an ally should do, is it? But we're going to do it.
Oh, sure. Did I ask a question? I did try Warhammer 3, kind of cool. I did spend a lot of time on Warhammer 2. I spent a lot of time on Warhammer 2. But I have not really played... War I haven't I mean bought Warhammer 3. Um, honestly, didn't really pique my interest that much. Um, I mean, it had all the evil factions, right? I'm not, I'm not an evil faction player. Okay, I'm, I'm into being a good guy. So, my dwarven travelers here. Do that, and yeah, we're just gonna let our, our, our ally go to work. So, we don't really have much of a strategy here. We, we have no cabs, so this dwarven fact, so well, dwarven factions can't get cabs, so. It's pretty much just make a line and charge. I mean, we'll flank a little bit and whatnot, but... In here. Probably even spread a couple of you out more in the middle since that's where they're quite thin on. Let's just see what happens here. Because our ally should come in and potentially attack for us. From what I've heard about Warhammer 3, I will not be touching it for a very long time. Um, they're, they're coming in from that way. So I should probably like swing myself around, face them up on this hill maybe. Probably a better spot, maybe like across here. Okay, we'll let's, we're on time six, yeah. Personally, I'm hoping they do a remaster of Empire Napoleon, like Rome, Toe War remaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're charging their friggin' cavalry at me. Okay, just here. Here then's good. Go to here. Uh, sorry lads, we're gonna sack you. You can... It's done landing horse. I mean, come on. There's actually a lot of troops on the battlefield here right now. Um, I'm hoping my allies do most of the work in this battle, although it looks like this army is coming pretty much straight for me. I might send my general over to the other side of this, the flank, though, just so he's safe. The battle is very much in our of course, it's very much in our favor. What do you think this is? Back in line. Victory will be ours. Where was, where was the gap in the line that you had? Somewhere in here. I don't know. Over here. So they're charging again, are they? Just wait. Okay. Hold your ground, hold your ground, hold your ground, hold your ground. Brace, 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 brace. Okay. You like the music too? Um... It's actually my music. I can't, um, I can't play the music that's in the mod because it's um, copyrighted. So, yeah, the music in the game is actually better than better than my music. Yeah, I've got I've got sort of like a dwarvenish, dwarvenish sort of track playing. But yeah, if you if you play the game and are not considering streaming it, um, then. Yeah, the, the game in 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 game music is is really really good. It's just some of it's copyrighted, so I got to be a little bit careful with that. You get back, get back behind the line. Just get back behind the line, please. And our, our allies are fighting over on this flank, right? Earthweights over here, farmland pike. Actually, got a couple of ballistas. We'll just let them die, you know. Oh, I will fight over here because they're coming at me, but still. Shoot them down. I don't care much Only for Dwarven Archers, the they're pretty rubbish. Hit those. Hit the Cav. They're routing. Okay. 
Can we sort of swing around a little bit this way? Because that's where it looks like the bulk of the army is. Swing like this. Run into position. Who's shooting you? Someone's shooting you? Don't I? Our Legion Deeping Guard here. Oh yeah. Our Legion... We haven't had a close look at these actually yet. Our Legion Spearman. Shield Guard. I mean, doesn't that just inspire you with confidence? The Deeping Guard. And where's our Legion Hammer Guard? Our Legion Hammer Guard. Oh yeah. Only half the enemy In their lads. They, they won't know it hit them if, if they, they got a face up against that. Time six it again. I'm just letting my ally die. I know. I'm I'm heartless, but it's fine. Is that warband? Okay, recharge those spearmen. That'll help a little. There we go. Look, I'm helping. There you go. Go recharge them. Hold fire. Ah, uh, yeah, shoot these bikes when they come in, actually. That's better. That Dunlinden Warband. These pikes will definitely enjoy our, our arrows. They're wolf spikes as well, so we don't want to have to fight them as much. Our men are and they don't have shields on the front. I mean, I don't have shields like anymore. This, I think the shields are just aesthetic the there. Uh, dwarven arrows, uh, dwarven bows are not too Only good. Half the enemy force remains. I had my elven campaign at the moment, four elven archers up against one unit. I mean, it would just disappear. Just cease to exist. Okay. Back over here. I think my, um, allies... Yeah, we killed 71%. So my allies just absolutely wiping the floor with them. Hit those war chanters. Charge them, flank them from the sides. Let's go. And they got deeping guard on, on one side. Even the bandits just coming from the side. They're pike units, so they won't, they won't go too well. Those war chanters. Let's speed it up again. Ah, yeah. uh, lads, you may be committed in when you shouldn't have then. The enemy general lies dead. Nice. Let the crows have his Actually fighting with an ally for once is, is like really really unusual. Like normally the, the AI ally, well in any in any medieval two game or mod, you know, they're pretty pretty trash. Oh that's the general. Nice. Look how our cowardly fall runs. It is time to press the Can't chase them down, they're too fast for us. We're dwarves, we are very slow. Yeah, the mook is that their general actually? Probably try and keep him alive. All right, let's advance. Let's advance. Let's go. Time to advance. We'll help him out. I mean, you'll get tired running, but let's go. Advance through that. Kill him. He's left alive here. Over here somewhere. Trees. The trees! I can't see anything. I actually can't. Wowzers. It's so thick. Keep advancing then, I guess. Keep advancing. I can't. There, there we won. Uh, just continue because we want to chase, wanna chase him down as much as we can. Our guys can't chase him down. Maybe the bandits can because they're for the travelers because uh, they're a little bit faster but and maybe the Inthwaith troops can chase them down a little bit because we were doing a draw out here so if we can get them below 85% uh, or above 85% losses now some have already left the battlefield so that 90% is a little bit um, hard to decipher I think Inthwaith might have had a couple of cab units that actually a bodyguard? 
That's actually him. Um, hopefully they catch him. Looks like they're going to catch him. Elder Guildsman. That should get him. Nice. That was actually the general. That's a huge catch. Good thing I hit continue battle. Like that that in itself, just to get the general then, was a, a good reason to hit continue battle. I think, are they catching any more? Axemen? Maybe speed it up, speed it up. Yeah, they are catching a couple. But the only way I can get Cav is through mercenaries for the dwarves and this army that didn't happen to come across any mercenary calves. Look at that, 114 lost, uh, uh, 397 killed. I mean, Ian's army did really well. They just cleaned house. I didn't expect them to do that. Well, I sort of expected the Dunlin forces to, to beat them and then I'd have to sort of finish the battle. That's how I envisioned that battle going down. And then I'm like just sitting there and I'm like, hang on a second. I think they've won. We may as well just, may as well just walk over. They've won, they've beaten them. Nah, they did they did get in there, but that's okay. We'll just order we'll order resolve this next turn. No problem at all. Dwarven dagger, one to personal security. You never know what's gonna happen in Total War games. Yeah. I mean I, I love it. I love the sandbox. That's why I like, like it so much. I did, this was this general. You. You 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 you. Guess I send you to you as well. We're trained and ready to go. Where you go. We've marched our limit. Send you south. I, you two can go as well. I, and you're going down to this settlement. To Keep it under control. I, and you're marching over to Leonic. Leoniac. Do I do I can I just order resolve this? My Say buddy. I'll be right back. Just gonna see how my wife is. I completely understand. David Gamer, feel free, man. All good. Um. My king. I sire. Mark. Surely I can just order resolve this, right? I'm gonna stick you. <laughs> no problem, dude. Um, yeah, feel free to come back or or just uh lurk or whatever you want to do, man. Uh sort out whatever that need you whatever's need to get done in your life. It's all good. This, th if if I lose this auto resolve, I mean it's happened before. Yeah, nice. I was gonna say, yeah. nice because it's just a rebel army, so it's easy to. If you auto resolve and you win, the then they just get destroyed anyway. But with non rebel armies, you gotta be careful because they my king. they don't get completely I, destroyed. I, my king. Back into that. I lord. Who out. I sire, my king. Okay. Now, Gundabad is about to take Mathelberg, which is not good. Not good at all. And that will probably force our hand. Which is not good because we're not in position to fight Gundabad yet. Gundabad are way too strong for us to start tackling in the north. We just simply don't have the troops to deal with them. Maybe that's where our, our next troops are going to... They're going to have to go to go north. So any of our next lot of troops that get trained are all going to head north. Yeah. But Dunlins are, are so, so cooked. Something to investigate. They shall not see me, sire. Yeah. So they have, this is Dunlin border. But I don't think they have anything past that. At your service. On my way. I think Isengard will hold. Yeah, Isengard will hold Isenrun. So they won't have that. Um, so yeah, they're pretty much done. That's why I want to catch him on the northern side of the river. So Tharbad doesn't fall. Because if Tharbad falls, it creates a bit of an issue for us. Something to investigate. Moving quietly. I know Eleven, four, and thirty-six with the mithril with the mithril armor. So good. Such a good um bodyguard unit. Because the last thing you want is a bodyguard unit that just just falls over you know gets hit by a unit and and your general dies i'd much prefer a bodyguard unit that can hold their ground 
rather than a bodyguard unit that will just go in, kill a lot, but die really fast. Because if they can hold their ground, you can often get uh, defense, you can often get other troops in to help them in time. So the, the Gondor, the Gondor bodyguards aren't bad because they're really defensive. Um, but they don't get as many hit point traits as the dwarves do. I mean, the dwarves get an insane amount of hit point traits. You need to wait to move. They just, they just bugged, they just bugged out. They're already heading south. I mean, they know I've got it. I mean, we are allies, so they're cool. Anduin falters. Erebor has been retaken, though. Very good, very good, very good. And when we saw Mathelberg's been taken. They're still holding the lower veils. I would like to get the armory set up here before too long. I noble sire. Keep heading south. In your name, sire. Making camp here, good sire. Brunost in. I guess just start getting town guard. Start getting some troop capacity. That Kala. Roads attempting. Roads. Fire rig. Master Stoneworkers Hall. I think we then go for the brewery. Yeah, we need culture. That one. I, my lady. No mercenaries. Honor. And let's quickly take down Laric. Assaults. And that will fall nice and quickly. That too much concern. Wow, they get four Wildman defenders? And the rest of the army is completely shot. I mean, we've got a general. At least they don't. Alright. Our general's better. I mean, yeah, they're getting a huge... We'll take that. It's, I'll, it's, a, it's a time saver. You know, as an order resolve, it's always like... You know, you could manually fight it and you could have a better result. Or... And that takes time. Or you can auto resolve shorter, but you know you're going to lose more. So we actually got mission success there as well. 2,000 coins and trade increase. Nice. This guy's actually becoming a bit of a general. Good, because he was a bit useless. He's got marks of war as well. Nice, nice. Conqueror of Don Laric. Take it. What are we getting rid of here? What is useless to us? Probably this one, military camp, it can go. Chicken farming can go as well. Keep the tennis guild. Nice. And we have the money to repair all of that and get Stonemason's guild house. Grab another spy as well. the faction leader. Now it's the family member though. My enemy. At your On my way. They shall not see me, sire. Moving I don't think Dunland have anything else. Like we have, we've moved in very quick on them. There was a the fact that we dealt with the goblins so quickly and then we've we've sort of pitched south almost instantly means they are very much out of their depths right now. Keep marching that army. Small but elite army to Koloniak. Look at these guys. 26 to Where are these king's axes? So good. Love to see it. Money's not, still not a concern. I think I still hedge my bets as military in these two settlements. I'm getting large pig farm right now. Maybe after that we go back to army barracks. I think we do. The army barracks up and running. Get more troops to send north because this is where we're going to have issues. Aye, Lord. 
I would this is your this is a master beyond. Yes, my king. On my way. Is that what you want? What's going on here? What is going on here? I king. I. You'll jump back in here. Is that what you want? My king. I don't want Hamas to be on to die. That is, if he dies, Andrew and Vale are in a lot of trouble. Your attention is on is here. Hand. I sire. Is this where we actually go to war with Gundabad? Oh man, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for war with Gundabad. I think we have to save him. We have to save him. My lord. I lord. My king. I, I lord, your will, I lord. You four, you weren't the ones in the other one. Jump into this army. Onward, merging armies, sire. I, forward, my king. Ah, noble sire. We got gotcha, you, mate. Forces. We got gotcha. you. Is that what you want? Gundabad. Oh, this is like a this is like a not a good call. Erebor, Dale, Endon Vale, Woodland Realm. I mean, let's just join the war, shall we? Leading the men with honor, let's go. Let's take him down. We cannot stand by and watch Bjorn be killed. Attack. We have to defend our allies. You will not. Do not go and attack Bjorn like that. And this is the ragtag force that we have gathered here. Really, really quite sad, isn't it? Archers, what we have left of them. Probably this side. Look at this general. This guy looks like he's, um... Look at this guy. He looks a little, um... A little under the weather, I'm gonna say. Looks a little under the weather. I need 28 in his bodyguard unit as well, that's not good. Because he had a less personal security trait. We actually have two cavalry units in a dwarven army, would you look at that? Two cavalry units. I mean, one is much better than the other. These guys are armored and... Experience these Ready guys are uh, actually probably would be better than the merchant cavalry, but they're they would be better than the merchant cavalry, the onion writings, but they're not uh haven't got any armor or anything on them. So otherwise look at that horses they're actually decent. And then I got the little, little remnant forces can just sort of sit here together. Uh, flank the, guard them on the flanks. And then, yeah, we've got the, the hammerers, that they're called, reclaimers here as well. Don't shoot myself with the, with the ballista. That's, that's key as well. Don't get shot in yourselves. Can we just maneuver ourselves a little bit more like this? Get it up, let's go. They were a little more front on. In position. The list, come on, please. This is why I can't stand siege equipment. Just, just get in position, please. Please, turn. Are you still not in range? Are you kidding me? Okay. Go 
Go a little further. March it up. March it. You Gundabad orcs will know the measure of loyalty. You will know the measure of the side of good. We do not let our friends die. You thought you were just going to kick off. You shoot them. Is Dwarven Blister a little too accurate? They just shoot in the same, exactly the same spot every time. Now that got their attention. Now they actually have good archers. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to hit these Black Shield archers and Black Shield archers. They're actually the ones that are going to probably deal the most damage to our army. They're actually shooting. Uh, at this. You, this formation. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, Black Shield archers. Not a bad unit for them to shoot at. Like they're very highly armored. Cav. I mean, we have Cav. I keep forgetting we have Cav. We're a Dwarven faction with Cav. Come here. We have focus fire on those. Around. Only half the enemy force remains. Hold fire, hold fire, pull out. Yeah. Right, you guys died very quickly. We kill him, let's go. Black shield arch black shield archers are like very tanky. Scouts though, not so much. Not so much on the scouts. That should have, that should have dealt them. General's dead. dead. They got nothing now. They're gone. That should. Chase him down. Ninety-eight percent. General's dead. We're good. 131. Uh, this is this is a long and bitter battle. Long and bitter war this is going to be. Started with such a small and innocuous battle, but it's gonna it's gonna escalate now. But if anything else, it will distract Gundabad a little bit more. They've got another enemy to worry about. Um, they won't be able to push the Anduin so freely. And the Anduin are really the only thing holding back Dol Guldur, which is the one I'm probably more concerned about. Because I can fight Gundabad in the north. We can we can do this. We have we have mountains. We can defend mountains. Yeah, we can defend Goblin Town for years. That's fine. No issue there. But it's like what is what I wanted to get this guy a little further. What is behind El Spy? And you see what's happening behind this further north. Now, do we wish to attack Mathelberg? I think we do. We can catch this general. We've got ballistas, so we can go straight in. I mean, killing a general is always is always good. We can just assault. Two generals, even. Ooh, that's actually um, that's actually super good. Uh, is it better to auto resolve this or manually fight? I think it's better to auto resolve because this they'll route the route calculation will come in Whereas if I manually fight they'll fight to the death This is actually an example of a situation where auto resolving might be better Yeah, I don't think we I think we would have lost Very similar to this or maybe even more. I think we would have lost more because they routed on 35 of them Yeah but that's two generals. It doesn't matter if they're right inside a settlement, because they are dead. 
So that's two generals taken out. That's a that's actually a really big blow. Um, we got a diplomat around. Dude, where is he? Not gonna be able to talk to any any Valesman yet anytime soon. We're gonna have to exterminate if we want to keep it. Yeah, it's red already. Okay. If I can take this front from them, maybe Angmar, I mean, da the Vale will be able to push back on, on this side and retake their capital. That's my hope. But if I can take the left side of the river, they can take the right side of the river. That's what I'm, that's what I'm wagering anyway. My king. You four, my sire. jump into here. I march. I do want to spy on this side. I want to see if Angmar tries to come attack me because I don't want to get him out if Angmar comes. Actually, it might even be a good reason to get the armory up in there. If I get the tier 2 armory up with a general in there, it's even it's going to be a pretty big army to, to take that. Now, what are we getting rid of? Uh, ear warning. Ear warning. If you got earbuds in, just just careful. A little, little bit loud, but we'll destroy buildings. Make back a little bit of money. Repair, repair, repair. And I think we need to go straight for the brewery. Actually retrain these two mercenaries here. Okay, that's really good. Now, because we have decided to do this. Actually take out that wall unit as well. Before I forget, because we've decided to do this, I think we just need to recruit, like, anything we can. And get, get them over there. Get them up there, rather. I think we need anything we can to get up here in the north now. Crash or no, they need to get to the north to assist. Or we're just going to get overrun. Uh, we will take down that wolg unit, even though they're bonus against Cav. Orders. Losing in the enemy. Oh, whoops, Glory whoops. to the king. Misclicks. Losing in the enemy. Absolute misclicks. Uh, now they won't be able to get back to the settlement. They should have been able to get back to the settlement then, but now they won't be able to because I just clicked around them instead of on them. The time's come, lads. To arms. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to charge them down the middle with this one. Actually, we're going to charge them down the middle with this one. Right, with this one, we're going to flank with this one. That's, that's how we're going to do it. Okay. Come back. Don't go on the high ground. around. I mean, whoever's in a better position to charge, we will. But at the moment, they've got the higher... I don't want to charge uphill. There we go. They're sort of backing off the hill. Okay, that's good. That's good. They're backing off the hill. Come around. And there's potential we lose this. Oh yeah, this is good. They're still... Oh yeah, that should be good. That should be pretty good. I mean, they do have bonus against Cav, the enemy but since we, we, caught the him, we caught him on the charge, we caught him on the charge. If we true and Even if you have bonus against something, we hit him from both sides. We lost a fair few there, but... That, and come back around. Another charge. Look how our cowardly four nice. runs. Gone. Got him down. Easily done. Yeah, and that just just cleans it up a little bit. I don't like to have 
random units just strolling about, particularly when we are stretched, stretched with our military in the north. We certainly don't want to let them link up and form a, a larger army. Now they can actually come across the Carrick. Oh, it's useless. Run for it. It's not useless. We've marched our limit. I'm gonna stick you. Hmm. Might actually lose that cab because I was misclicked. Aye, that misclick might actually do it. I lord. Could I lord. Reinforce it. Have a taste of my blood. I'm gonna stick you. Aye, my liege. Aye. You can I actually saw. make it to them. Orders. Not the um, my king. Aye. Aye. You can actually send a few troops to... I think that's a good idea. I don't want to lose that cab. So, if they attack, we'll win that now. Actually send those as well. Do that. Good, good. Get another spy. Oh, I can't get a spy though. I want spies. Where was I building a spy down here? Two spies building this turn. What is this diplomat doing? I actually have Brambo. Okay, so Dale are pushing down. I'll see what's happening in the in the middle here. Central Merc was held by Dolgador. Yeah. I was hoping that might have been held by the Wood Elves or Dale. Someone might have pushed through. I was hoping the Wood Elves would have. And then they actually do something instead of just acting like a brain dead sleep nation. Sorry, Woodmoon Realm, but I have to be honest. That's that's sort of how you behave. Yeah, I think the Dunland um, final stand stack will spawn near Dunlaric. Which we'll have to deal with. I think the army in Dunlaric is strong enough to hold. I mean, we're very good defensively. And Dunland shouldn't now have the might to recruit troops to go forward. Dunlaric, absolutely. We'll get the Axmith Guild. Dunlaric has fallen. Erebor besieged. Uh, don't get any message. Maybe they've still got another... Maybe they've got another settlement over here. Oh, they've got one over here. That's right. They've still got Caladir. So, they've got three still. Okay, so we're fine. I, my Leading the men with honor, sire. I'm actually sitting on a bridge, so if they attack me, that'll be a bridge battle. So that's super good for us. I'm just content to, to sit that out, and they can come across in a bridge battle, and we'll massacre them. We'll absolutely massacre them on a bridge battle. They might even send this as well. I mean, please do. Please send this and try and relieve the siege and hit me on the bridge and we'll, we'll kill them all. That would be perfect. You four, walk into here, get free upkeep. Train. Good. Wait, they didn't attack. Hi. Hi. Hey, get back to Mathelberg. We do have a spy built. I, I want you to show me if there is an Angmaran army coming for me. That is your sole purpose. I need to know this if there is can... one coming for me. They shall not see me, sire. On my way. Back that way. Oh, there's a little bit of fog of war actually, maybe back to that spot. Goblin Town. Now the question is, do we go for culture first or do we get the armory in? Culture's gonna take a long time. I think we get the armory to be safe. Um particularly since it is our faction air that's sitting in there. Dunlaric is fine, it's 
Whatever. Athelberg. Might be able to retrain those troops at some point since they're mercenaries to this region. You can get them in this region. So if you can train a mercenary in a region, you can actually retrain it in that region as well. Otherwise, you can't retrain mercenary units. Keep going. You're going all the way off to Ered Luan. So, theory me, Dolgador is just powering through. All the more reason to get a armory in Eru. We do have these four units here. The holding in reserve. I wonder, do I switch the generals here? I think Lord Wien should be with the main army. So I was just chatting with wife, David, your gamer. Oh, you're all good, dude. How goes the game? Yeah, good. Um, we've declared war on Gundabad. Um, which may not have been a good idea. Um, but they were gonna kill, they were gonna kill, um, Huntmaster Bjorn, so... They were gonna kill the, the Vale's faction leader, so we sort of stepped in and declared war and then took Mathelberg as well. So now we're sort of holding the left bank of the Anduin against Gundabad and they're, well they haven't held the right bank, hopefully they, they funnel some troops over to the right side and try and defend there but we've sort of saved them on this left side for the time being but saved them for the time being, I mean look at the size of my army it's not, it's not looking big you know, so yeah, get another spy, get another spy here that's why I need to see what's going on past here. To yeah, I mean, this is the sort of stuff I need to see. So, we have... And they're full units. They do, do have decent armor. Okay, so just for now, until I get my next spy coming out. Stay there. You get another spy over here. Yes, my king. So, we're looking at Dunlar Duniard and Hilot. I think we want to get a spy over to this side of the river. Now see what's happening with this settlement here. I want them to come and attack me on this bridge, that would be fantastic. Otherwise everything is going well. Austin Thiel, I keep looking at you. 860, you're getting there. You're almost there, you need another 400 pop- oh, Fiery, oh. Into there. And you can probably go to there and merge some units. Hmm. Merge some units. That. And then next turn, I might send you two across as well, depending on how Byrig is holding in terms of its uh, public order. We're mass producing anything we can get in Kazadoom to send north now that we're at war with. You can see this. It's only the only the, the ballista that I haven't recruited. Everything else is coming. In fact, let me grab those three as well and I'll send them across to get better armor. Now you guys, I want you to head over to your other side of the river. Try and retake your capital. Yeah, pull out. Pull out of Mathelberg. That's good. Blood of Mathelberg, leave it to me. Okay? Whether that's a good thing or not for me, I don't know yet. Whether I can hold on before reinforcements get there. But I need you to go and try and fight on the other side of the river. I can't get there. In fact, for me to commit to the other side of the river would just be stretching my lines a little too thin. I think I got the Feast Hall in Kazadoom that term. So, Mithril Mine should be reasonably cheap now. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I'll take, I'll take any general. Mathelberg, yes. 
Erendros is still being siege. Mordor Supreme. Oh dear. One ring has been located in Dol Gudur. I mean, that would be heavily defended. And we don't really have the, a full stack to go take a heavily defended Dol Gudur at this point. And we need to get troops north. Yeah, we definitely need to get troops for, north. Now, the issue here is now, they could attack either of these settlements. They could attack Mathelberg. They could attack Goblin Town. Goblin Town's trying to get an armory. Can I retrain Zenith Guard? And give you better weapons. Better than nothing. I've got a spicing on that side to see if anything happens. You come and stand here. You go you go deeper. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're a good good view of what's going on now. Can they reach They can't, but they can get there on the turn after. Okay, we need we need to send troops now. Aye, Lord. So you you Aye, you and you need to go. Aye, Lord. Move out. We march no farther today. Aye, sire. You need to go Aye. as well. These Aye. reinforcements need to be there yesterday. We've marched our limit. Just check as well. Is there any Aye, no mercenaries? Train you. Send the three of you across soon. I've got six units potentially there. Let's just see. Kazadun Feast Hall. Do I want some more money? That's 33,000 to get the Mithril Mines. 33,000. My goodness. Um. How's the money looking? Uh, maybe we do need some more money. All the seven would actually be a really good pickup. Let's go all the seven into mining complex. Roads. Oh, roads are good actually. I need roads. I need to be able to travel faster to get north. I need the roads. Go roads and then go all the seven. That will give me additional upkeep. Hi. Where are my... I must have sent them out the other way. Yeah, I did. I sent them to Dunlin. That's right. I was confused for a second there. So you need to move across. Both of you need to move across to be retrained. Move out. And then I'm left with this predicament. Oh, did I get rid of my? I got rid of my uh, building slot things. Fire here. Hub's the one I want. Somewhere else been finished building as well? I thought it did. I thought there was three. No, they're still building. Everything's here is good. Did they... I want them to attack me on the bridge. Bring this army across. Throw it at me. Just throw it at me. Don't hold back. Unlark. I've already moved him. I, I want this army to be thrown at me. Because then Dunlin will have absolutely nothing on this side of the river. I'll have absolutely nothing but a full stack in Argand on this side of the river. On my way. Oh. Moving quietly. Yeah, we're we're going for him. We're going for him. Uh uh bot. See ya bot. Where are you? Gone. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to attack them here. I'm just going to let them come to me. That's fine. It's only four turns. So that's okay. Don't have any issue waiting four turns for that. Aye, Lord. 
There was something else I was going to do this turn, and I cannot... Oh, that's what. I was going to recruit units here. I won't get the... Laborers. Yet. We'll see. See how I'm feeling next turn. Might recruit them next turn. I don't think the laborers are worth it at this point. They are cheap, though. Now, these forces... My friend, well, it's almost 4am here. Davy D Gamer. I have serious questions. I have serious questions. Not that you're awake at 4am, okay? Because I'm often awake at 4am. But... What is your wife also doing awake at 4am? Because I know when I'm awake at 4am, my wife is asleep. <laughs> That's... <laughs> unless she's up with the... Unless she's up with the kid. Unless she's up with the kid. That would be the... Um, that would be the exception, I would say. Unless she's up with the kid. She's just watching YouTube vids. Well, My king. there you go. I, I, forward. We have no kids, lol. Something to investigate. Just, the yeah. Seems, so consider, consider that, consider that as well. Long and fast. Was that your question again? No, no, that was my question because I was like, "You're up at you're up at four a.m." Yeah, no, feel free to go now. Go to bed, dude. Go sleep. <laughs> that was it. Thank you for dropping by. Really appreciate it. In fact, let's uh, let's give a little shout out to our friend David D Gamer. He's been hanging around. There we go. Sniper Elite 5. Nice. Right, can I recruit any mercenaries? Is also the other question right now. No mercenaries here. No problem, dude. Thank you for dropping in. No mercenaries here either. Sniper for free. Never played Sniper Elite. Um, it's fun, but a little tricky. I imagine it would be. I guess that would be the whole premise of the game, right? Game Pass. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a console gamer. Eh? I'm not on the consoles. Then turn. <sighs> Arid Runins held by Dolgador as well. One man against the whole German army in World War II, lol. Yeah, it seems, um, seems really, uh, really realistic. I mean, I know, I know that snipers did some pretty insane stuff in, in World War II, and, like, in any wars, you know. Like, basically, like, yeah. It's like, it's like modern art of war. That's, that's how I'd like to think about it. it takes place right before D-Day, yeah. The way snipers position themselves and how they moved and how they would blend in with their environment and when they would take a shot, when they would not take a shot, what you do once you take a shot, like it's all like you with it's like 3D chess, you know, you, you'd have to be thinking like 10 moves ahead. And even then, maybe you don't live. You know? Um and I don't I don't like to like to glorify war, especially war that's um, been in real life, you know, playing a fantasy war game at the moment is a little bit different, but um, particularly war in real life that's been modern, modern war as well, but man, just purely to look at the strategy and the the courage that that those, those soldiers would have had Aye, is absolutely amazing, march. absolutely amazing. We march no further today. Now these three. I Lord. I need to head to there. I'm keeping you up, dude. Um, feel free, feel free to go. You don't need to. You don't need to hang around. If your bed's cooling, I know it's like when your your eyes are struggling to stay awake. Feel free to go. Hmm. 
Done the Larrick. Okay, guys, have a great night. Thanks, David D. Have a great sleep, dude. Have fun. We'll do. Now these troops. I saw. Can you move out? If I was to go, say, you go to there, you would move to there. That does put you to blue. This is going to give a little bit of happiness. I think you're fine to move across. Go across to Dunlaric. Nothing else to a train there. I don't want to get those other ones because these troops. In fact, I might not even get that one because we're short on money. We're short on money. So just hold off on that. We'll retrain this lot and we'll send them as well. I think you need to sit in here to make a little bit more money because you're a general. I saw him. You three can go sit in this fort. Forward. So we definitely have free upkeep for everyone. I saw him. You need to come across. I king. Okay. I. So it looks like they're going to head for Goblin Town. I'm going to get the armory up, level 1 armory. Can't get anything else. Can't get any other troops. Let's just check again right, for okay. mercenaries. No mercenaries. Marching now. No mercenaries. Jump back in. So no mercenaries available. Athelberg got the brewery. Definitely go towards the... I've got a... I haven't got a town guard here. Can we just grab an armory? You're going to have to break them here. Grab an armory. Eru, you're going to grab an armory when you can. Because I'm a little bit concerned about Dolgador coming across here. And since I've recruited your emergency troops to go go to war you have to be a little bit careful what we do with you Dunlaric is strong now with those reinforcements that came across so I'm not concerned about Dunlaric at all now they could send their they can send their best and we'll hold you. at Dunlaric uh, what I also want to do is just get a little bit of vision yeah further one more square yeah that was good that watchtower up and now we can easily see over that result. It looks like Enithwaith is actually pushing down, so we may not have any issues there. Yes, my king. Work around that side so we can see along the road a touch there as well. And I think I'm happy with all the vision I have. Elves may even push into the Atomores, and that would solve an issue for us in terms of Goblin Town. Now, do we wish to sally out and try and take these armies? I think, oh yes, there's catapults. We definitely do. They're separated as well, I think. We have, we have Cav. Catapult and a Ballista. So if we can get them down, that's actually a super good pick. This is low taxes, isn't it? We can go to low taxes. They're going to have to hold against that, which is going to be tough. But we have to pick off these reinforcements here. As they're doing battle, they're going to be up on a hill. Uh, We're going to potentially lose troops here. We're going to potentially lose troops here. And I don't want to... If, my general, the catapult, is a catapult. So we got to be careful with the general. I would like to very much just use my general to win this battle. And once the catapults deal with, maybe you can. But for the time being, if there's catapults and ballista around, I mean, please, just come and sit down behind. What is this map? Is this another... Uh, another mountain map? Well, since we're going to be going uphill. So the Ballista are going to be no use here because they're going to have way more range than us. So Ballista, just get up on this little... Ballista are going to be no, no use. So just chill here. 
Can you go loose formation? Yeah, go loose formation. Spread out. Sit there. Um, then we want, we just need to charge at them basically. Need to lock down the, the catapults. And then we also have our cav. Probably over this side. I can move up to left hand flank and yeah. You two in here. Right, let's see how we go with this. Okay, so they are right up here. Wow. Wow. Okay. They can actually shoot my general from there. I'm gonna have a little heart attack. Okay, so we're running uphill against siege equipment. Really, really, really fun. Run, just run. I know you're gonna be exhausted, but just run. Uh, could we get up this left hand side at all? No, is it completely. Yeah, it's completely knocked off, so we can't get off the left hand side. Out of, uh, cavalry, can you, like, get over to here somehow? That's impossible. Impossible, rather. Can you get run to there? I think the general is fine. We're going to take a lot of losses here. Maybe we protected for quite a while, but once we get over this ridge, we're going to start taking um, serious losses. We only need to go loose formation. Yeah, go loose formation. That's probably a smarter idea. We probably want like one, two, three, like one, two, three, like just charging for that. You three go a little wider. Speed it up. Oh, are they are they are they isolating the uh, catapults? No, maybe. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Keep those catapults shut down. Then that go. Good tidings. Kill the, the enemy oh, general. Kill the general. Dead. Kill the general. That's we good. Set the car to hell. That should make him potentially route. Okay. The catapult isn't firing, which is the most important thing. That's, that's literally the most important thing. Go, 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 go. Charge again. Nice. Good charge. Good charge. Are they going to break off that? The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory Don't let him get away. Ours. Don't let him get away. Charge him. We're cycle charging with merchant, merchant cavalry. The enemy are badly flooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, we're into, we're into melee here. We're good. Go, go, go. Catch him, catch him, catch him. The enemy army flees the field. After them, cut the caverns down. On your left, 86% gone. I think we got enough. I think we got enough. Man, I hope we got enough. The victory we have won here today. 91%. Nice. Hey, that wasn't as bad. The merchant, the merchant cav got up and could cycle charge. So, I mean, we're losing cav here, but it's worth it. It's worth it to shut down those two cav, those two siege equipment.
we couldn't let them get to the siege on Goblin Town. I think they would probably lose with a catapult there. Or at least I wouldn't be able to set up how I wanted to. Now I really need to be able to just set up and box them in as they come through the gate. Now, how much more movement do we have here? This is, uh, this is the important thing. Because this is quite a large army here. Have a taste of my blade. So we can get back to Methelberg. I'm gonna stick you. Or we can attack will, this. Question, if I move you to there. March. It's blue. Okay, it's blue. That's good. So we could attack this, but then that will leave us out in the open and vulnerable to attack by this army. So I think there's an element here of I think we just go back to Methelberg. Methelberg. Yeah, retrain him. Um, and we sort of hope that maybe they attack here. I'm gonna but this this you. should hold fairly strong. This should hold fairly strong. Uh, I can I can't retrain you. Why not? Can't. I mean, I have the axsmith axsmith skill. That maybe would make a difference. Decent. Those dwarves are gonna have to hold their own incredibly well. Incredibly well, they're gonna have to hold their own. And we're still waiting on the bridge here. Three turns. Diplomat. Diplomat. Got to keep moving him. Get him over to Ered Luan. Get over to Ered Luan. We'll go from there. Let's see what happens. I mean, this is what I feared. We went to war with Gundabad in the hope of protecting the Anduin. But have we protected the Anduin? And, and have we just shot ourselves in the foot? I mean, if we can get the reinforcements there... If we can get the reinforcements there, that will buy us so much time. Particularly if we can hold Goblin, ta Goblin Town in the meantime. Where are they going to attack? If they both go for the same settlement, we're, we are in trouble. So they're sieging there, we must stand with courage, and they're just going the further ambulances. south. Okay. We did get the armory up, so that's not a problem. Ornberg sieged again. I mean, it's get, it's got to go at some point. Remnants of Angmar will get a military unit. Cool. Awaiting your command. Yes, sir. You have a proposition. Um, you want some map information? Hey, you got money? Make a payment. Okay, so we're going two, four, six. 8, 10, and then 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Right, but they know where one of them is. They go to 2000. 2000 for map information. Nice. Lord Skald. I'll take 2000 gold. And I've immediately used it. It's just gone. Um, Dwarven laborers. Be nice if I got anything other than dwarven that laborers. That would be just swell. Just swell. We got anything but dwarven laborers. Can I have a train? Uh, it'd be typical if I could train him now, but couldn't before. That would just be ironic. That's what it would be. Hostility ceased between Eridlaw and Hyles. Thank goodness for that. That is really good. That means they can focus on Angmar. You stalled. Goblin Town Besieged. Oh, yeah, so we've got Practice Range here. Get an Archery Range, get the Beast Hunters. Not bad. Minus Quarters. Goblin Town got the Armory, but can't build anything there. Dunlaric. Is that the stone? Yeah, that was the stone, the Guild House. The Guild House, that's what we wanted. All right, Brewery. With the culture happening, it's a big city. We can use that to our advantage. I mean, it's a town, but we can get troops from there then. As long as I don't bypass Dunlaric and hit Byrig because we're bordering here, I think it's the only way you can get across on a border that you can hit that. Are you making 1,492? 
that armory is building, that's good. I did want that armory to build when we had it. Turn it appears. Aye. Chucked you in the fort. That would have been smarter. Aye, sir. This is the main Forward. reinforcements. This is Forward. secondary Forward. reinforcements can come as well. We're going to be losing money almost. How are we losing money? I mean, we're, we've got pretty good infrastructure. We've got pretty good infrastructure. Is it because of this big army here that's Forward. not not doing anything? Just sitting on Cloniac two turns. Hmm. Have a taste of my blade. I'm gonna stick you. I sort of want to fight this battle. I think they should attack me next turn, so let's see how it goes. Nine forty, almost there. Let's go. I think we can hold it. I think. Assuming they don't have like any really good unit that I just can't see there at the moment. Please do not. If Andover lose that Hobbit town, whatever it's called, uh, then that's not good. In fact, it's very bad. Hobbits, stores, whatever they're called. I, mean, I do have the second tier of armory being built in Aru, so it wouldn't fall without a decent attack. Okay, here we go. 700 dwarves, 699 to be precise. Up against 1,222. So that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I think we're good. I think we're good. As long as they don't use the ballista too well, I think we're good. I think we hold this. The Dwarven Defenders and the, the maxed out Dwarven Laborers should do very well. And we've seen what these Dwarven Laborers can do. The lowest of lowly... Lowest of lowly? Sorry, excuse me. The lowest of the low Dwarven units can still... Can still hold their own in battle. Alright, so they got a ram, but they have ballista, so they're gonna use the ballista. I don't know how this is gonna play out, because normally if the AI has ballista, they tend to use them. Shoot to the side so you don't get hit by a ballista shot. They tend to use them um, to knock down the gate. But. If they can't really get the ballista in there, are they not going to use them that way? You lads hold over here. Where's the capture point? Just straight down the middle. Yeah. Gate on the other side. It is a gate on the other side. That's so actually... I thought maybe it was just... It is a full circle. Alright, let's just see how this goes then. We have our archers here. I have to change my strategy depending on what they do. But they are sending the ram in. Okay, so the, the ballistas are just going to sit outside. That's perfect. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, so that means that our strategy changes slightly a little bit. We come back. What we want to do is engage them on the right hand side. Fairly strong infantry. What we want to do is we want to pull out archers. Uh, make go tight formation. And pull your arch pull my archers around to this side. Might be able to get some decent shots. Are they all walking up? No, just we're not going to shoot at these. Go to here. Now what we need to do is also need to have these 
close enough so that they actually get hit. Okay, Apple Sundays. Welcome to the stream. I'm like lightning. I saw you there. I saw a little, a little out of the periphery of my vision. I saw, saw you type high there. Hi to you as well. Come in. Come on, you mingly little orcs. Get in here. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Damn them all. Nah, get in here. Come on. You think you got the numbers to take me? You attack. You think you got the numbers. Let's go. Let's see what you got. Are you really ready to fight up against these dwarves? Look to our defense or all is lost. Let's go. Come on. Hit him with the hit him with the hammers. Right. Archers, if they're just gonna let us do that. Okay. Guys, 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 please, please. Don't you dare shoot me like that. Our men are hit winning him. the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, nice angle there. That's good. Good angle, good angle. Yeah, get in, get in, get involved, get involved. Let's go. Are oh, they not gonna let me shoot? Uh Killed the general. The enemy general lies dead. That's good. We have sent the car to hell. Go back, go back. Go back over to here. Get a nice shot again. Run back, run back. Battle ready. Oh yeah, we got him. Well, that was a little bit of a push. That was a bit of an aggressive push, lads. Probably don't go that aggressive. Can we shoot him in the back there? Show him spears. How's, how's our angles? Pretty good, pretty good. It's the, it's the bows in the back that are shooting me. Hit him, lads. Hit him, lads. You think you're gonna crack Goblin Town with just just a few orcs? You think you're gonna get in here? Or well, maybe you are. Um, just calm down. I did kill your general. Why are you still fighting so hard? In there, they're just spears. They're just spears. They're just spears. Don't be scared. I think we got them. I think we got them. Come around. Come around. Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in Only half the enemy force remains. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Fire, 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 fire. Actually, are they gonna win? Very much in our favor. Very much in our favor. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit concerned, Mr. Announcer. Hit him. Come on. Hit him with arrows. Hit him with arrows. Go, 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 go. Get in there, get in there. Okay. This flank. Go, 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 go. Get in there, get in there. Okay. Our men are winning the battle. Now, Dwarven, Dwarven's Travelers, 6 and 12. So they're not bad. They're not bad. Where are you guys? But the it's the general that's really going to have to do the work here. General's really got to pull his weight. Keep blowing that horn. Their, their general's dead. Surely that is in our favor, right? Our general's alive. Their general's dead. That's got to be helpful. Eighty-four to seventy-two. But that's come on, Rout. You don't have a general. Why are you still fighting? Seriously, die. 
Orcs are Gundabad, eh? Gundabad Orcs are so freaking strong. Come on. Is that, is that my general? Yes, I better not be. Good, that's a route. We got one route. Two routes. Okay. We got him. Okay, so it's just the ballista. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Now, are the ballista crew... Are they going to... And just somehow get onto these ballista crew without getting mask. Are they going to run towards us? Okay, hang on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back, come back, come back. Our army is tiring. The ballista is actually running towards us. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. Okay. Whoa, okay. I didn't anticipate him to fire in there. The battle is very much in our favor. Very much in our favor. You said that a while ago. I wasn't convinced. Wait, we're doing okay. We're doing okay, but we're not done yet. Are they are they regathering? No, they're still routing. Okay, we're good. Okay. Man, the dwarven travelers had to pull out the pull out the pull out the the axes in the end and and get to work. Is it axes or swords? What do they got? Oh, little swords actually. Or dwarven travelers, they had to get the swords out and get to work. That was that was a little tight. I mean, I know the dwarven travelers are decent for archer units, but I wasn't sure how decent, you know? Oh yeah, you shot your own ballista? I'll take that. Okay, get in there. Got it. Our men are winning the battle. Ooh. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I mean, ballista crew are so bad that their uh, melee stats don't, they don't have. I mean, not so bad. They don't have melee stats. They have two defense. Don't know what their attack is, but two defense. So they are a little snagger. I wonder if our dwarven ballista crews have two defense, or whether they're better because they're dwarves. I reckon they should be. We pulled it out. Will be ours. Against the odds. I mean, the, the general did step up, the Zenith Guard. They they went the to town. See if you can chase any. Oh, they're gone. Oh. Cut the cowards down. Right. This is a clear 545 lost. If only there wasn't another Gundabad army sitting there ready to come in. I mean we heal. 54 on the laborers. Okay. Some, we healed some. Some. Uh, Zenithgard 147. You have the Travelers 362. Wowzers, they really did, really cut, cut their work there. The Sentries did terribly. 133 lost, only for 106 killed. And Defenders didn't do great either. The Laborers were the ones who would who were pulling the weight. But we defend Goblin Town for now. And that is all that we could ask them to do. And they're not coming to immediately besiege, so... Oh my goodness, that's a large army. Um... Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, do we just need to abandon Mathelberg and go and try and hold Goblin Town? I don't want to abandon Mathelberg because that's then the Anduin's going to be in trouble. Yeah. My reinforcement's going to get cut off. Aye, Lord. Aye. Onward. These guys we need to join up. Aye, Lord. These these lads are strong. They're all properly armored. They're strong. I think much to here. Aye. I may need Forward. to Aye. link them up with this army. Just depending on how long we have, so they can almost get to there. We can retreat at the at the back door if we if we know there's no hope at all, which is something we may need to consider. I can't retrain him because they have no there's no uh, pipe hole here. Okay. Oh, this army's got 
Two pale Uryx. Okay. Okay. We're, we're not going to be able to hold. We have to fall back to Goblin Town, I think. I think we burn Mathelberg to the ground and we fall back to Goblin Town. Maybe we leave like one unit in here just to delay them, like the three Dragon Slayers or something. And then we just fall back with everything else. I think that's possibly the best option. Wowzers. Okay, so you lads get into here. Onward. We train. Honey's situation is still not great. Still not great. Keep sending a diplomat across. We're almost there. You've had a long trek. It's been a long journey. Uh, surely the elves still hold... Uh, Aaron Dolan. They do, but not nicely. I would fight for your people there's a huge... There's Gundab Gundabads everywhere. This is Thranduil. Thranduil's here trying to hold Aaron Dolan. Does that mean they've lost... Don't tell me they've lost their capital. No, surely not. Surely not. Who holds this? Middle Vales is held by Dolgador. Oh no. The Anduin are, are very much in trouble. That's why they're getting hit across the river here. In Fenholm, because they, they hold the middle veils. Hey, okay, let's consider this. We have two Ballista. Not really much else here. We do have the Khazadun Reclaimers. Maybe they can fight them. They have Black Shield Warriors as well. 12 and 20. I think we have to fall back to Goblin Town and sack Methelberg. My king. My king. Hey, we go all in on Goblin Town and hope we can hold here. The next tier of armory. Two turns and we get that armory. They can make it there. You. I think we just cancel that. Cancel that. Is there anything else queued up to build? I need to cancel it as well. I mean, this is not needed. This is not needed. That can stay. stay. That can stay. Just hold off on that. Anything down here? Byrig? No, they need to keep building down the south so we get the, the happiness going. But I'm thinking, yeah, this, that'll get this uh, Durin's Armory building. And once again, I'll check. Check for mercenaries. Now, I think we just leave these three Dragon Slayers as much as I want to... As, as, as attached I am to these Dragon Slayers, they've done so much for me. Um, I think their their last duty to this Kazadoom expedition, because remember they were with us. They started with us in Erebor. They set out with us. Their their last and final duty will be to hold the gate shut for just a little bit longer to delay this army. Um, so even if we can buy a couple of turns by them going for Mathelberg, um, then we'll take it. So thank you, Dragon Slayers. Three of you left. They're gonna they're gonna light a fire and make it look like that there are hundreds of soldiers in there. And in the meantime, we are we're sacking this to the ground. So ear warning, we're gonna lots of noise, lots of noise here. We are Pulling that to the ground, and that's going to be pretty much just our last act um, for this episode. Recruit that soldier. Ooh, we can get three of those as well. Definitely get those up. 
And with that, if you're watching over on YouTube, that's going to be the end of episode nine. So be sure to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next episode.